Hi guys. We are nearing the end of our F1 2021 setup video series. There are a few tracks that are left to go, mainly the ones that weren't included in the base game, such as Saudi Arabia, but as Codemasters have promised, these are coming as free DLC later on, so I'll cover them when they're out. But for now, we're into the season finale of Abu Dhabi, and this is a really horrible track. It's a track that I don't like very much, I don't like racing on, and it's one that isn't overly fun to watch either. But anyway, moaning aside, let's jump into the setup and see what we've got. Starting with the aero, I've gone for a front wing of 7 and a rear wing of 8. You need a relatively balanced aero setup for Abu Dhabi. You need a car which won't let go of the rear when you accelerate, but also has enough front end to get you turned into these 90 degree corners. In terms of the transmission, I've gone relatively low at 65% on diff and 55% off diff. There are quite a few slower corners and heavy acceleration zones where you can lose traction pretty quickly. So having the lower on throttle diff will help with a slightly gradual loss of traction, allowing you to manage your acceleration a little better. For the suspension geometry, I've gone minus 2.7 on the front camber and minus two on the rear. This will give you a car which is pretty responsive, but balanced at the same time. Then go with a front toe of 0.06 and a rear toe of 0.2. This part of the setup is designed to just minimise drag almost as much as we can, so you have maximum top speed potential along the straights. For the suspension, I've gone pretty soft. The kerbs around Abu Dhabi are killers, they're absolutely horrible. So I've gone one on the front suspension, four on the rear, and then I've gone for front anti-roll bar of two and rear anti-roll bar of six. This will give you a car which can handle the kerbs a little bit better, although they will still throw you all over the place, so be prepared for that. Round out our suspension setup with a ride height of 3 and 7. And then looking at the brake setup, I've gone for 99% brake pressure, which is the highest I've run all season long. This is purely just to minimise our stopping distance at the end of those really long straights. Go with a brake bias of 57%. Again, this should help shorten your braking distance overall while remaining balanced through some of the shorter, sharper braking zones. Then for the tyres, go for 24.2 on the front pressures and 23.1 on the rear pressures. This will give you a responsive car while maintaining a little tyre life throughout races. And that'll do it for our Abu Dhabi F1 2021 car setup. Overall, this will give you a car which is stable enough and allows you to push throughout a race. You should be able to drive consistently with this setup, as long as you stay off some of those bigger curves. If this setup video does help you out, drop this video a like as that'd be much appreciated and let me know how you get on in the comments below. Do you hate this track just as much as I do? And why not subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell to be alerted when our next F1 2021 setup videos drop. As I mentioned, I will cover the new tracks as soon as they're released into the game. And remember, that notification bell will give you an alert as soon as I upload those videos. But for now, see you on track, guys.